Red Elk, this was a little before my time here, but did you ever go hunting for that Mel's Hole? Remember that story? Oh, that yes. That's the one that got me with Mr. Bell in the first place. Yeah, all right. Did you, uh, what uh, happened about that? Well, I was <laughs> Um, it's there. I've been called all kinds of liar and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's covered by an outbuilding, uh, and, uh, uh, anybody crazy enough to, to go on that piece of land, uh, they're out of their tree. You know, I, it's, uh, it's got, uh, plants that are plastic, that they're sound sensors. Uh, it's well protected. Uh, this little outbuilding it, it is so oh, maybe, maybe, Maybe 16 by 16, you know, uh, all the way around, maybe. And uh, oddly enough, I thought the roof lifted. But no, it opens like a book. And uh, at certain times, they, they open this up and uh, big ships come down and unload and load. And uh, uh, yeah, it's there. And, and <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what you believe. I don't care if you think I'm nuts. I, I'm not here to lie to people. And uh, I I moved uh, some eight and a half miles away from where I had been during that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it appears that the UFO activity that uh, was sporadic, but, but quite a bit of it, uh, has just about died down in Kittitas County. And uh, uh, that hole has a lot to do with it. And um, um, it, that hole is not a bottomless pit. It's 27 to 27 and a half miles deep. It's a blowhole from Mount Saint or Mount Rainier. And uh, I'll say this: uh, there's another hole similar to it in depth and stuff. And uh, the Indians, uh, the Yakimas, uh, they keep that secret. And with good reason, otherwise a damn government will have that too. But uh, nevertheless, yes, it's there, and uh, I I ran into all kinds of trouble with it. I've been followed by helicopter, uh, at one of those black ones. I yeah. I've, I've had uh, the the uh, I was watching because it was about the right time for one of the giant UFOs to come in and hover over it and, uh, late at night. And next thing I know, here's the police. And, you know, I'm, I'm not breaking any law. I'm off of the road quite a ways, and I'm not on private land. And, and uh, in the middle of the night, and I had my camera and stuff, and I just sat there with a light on, writing a letter and watching that spot. And... Uh, then another cop comes, and lo and behold, it's, it's a policeman that I've known since I was a younger man. And uh, um, he leaned down, and he said, Red Elk, we know about Mel's Hole. Be careful. And then he stood up, and, and he said that in a whisper. And he stood up and said to the other two sheriffs, he said, he's all right. I know Red Elk. He's not doing anything wrong. Oh, okay. So off they went. And left you alone. So what is it about that hole that UFOs would show up over? And well, it's, it's connected to other below-ground tunnels now. And uh, the Draculian race, the little lizards that everybody thinks I'm crazy, um, uh, use that and uh, to load and unload uh, things onto the ship that comes down. A giant ball is one of them. The other one looks like about the size of an aircraft carrier. And uh, um, they use it to bring stuff in down into their lower cavern living areas. And uh, unfortunately, what they unload or, you know, take out of the hole are sacred to them, sacred bones. They murder people and do certain things with it and grind it and put it in white gold. And it's for longevity. And... Um, Guys, it, it, uh, I took another medicine man with me over there, and uh, it just it just scared the daylights out of him. They had murdered a, a red-headed woman from Issaquah, I think. And these are actual-looking lizard people? Yeah, they're people, and, and soul bears in that sense. 
Uh, there, there are brothers and sisters. You know, we're not alone in this world no. of, of planetary systems but, or anything. But they're violent, I guess? Oh, yeah. They think they're God. If there's a God, they don't believe in it. And uh, if there's a God, they're it. If there's a devil, they're it. They can do anything they want. And uh, I've had my run-ins with them. And, uh, but they're very, very real. I, I told before, uh, getting a letter, it's, it's sitting there at my desk at home. I ran across it just last week and pulled it out. Uh, a lady in New York or New Jersey, as a kid, she and her little brother and a bunch of friends snuck into an abandoned building and were playing down in the basement amongst the pipes and they heard a noise and stuff and, uh, um, turned around, and there was a lizard child. Oh. And they all took off. She literally said, Red Oak, I'm ashamed to admit it, I pulled my brother out of the, going out the window and went over the top of him, and I peed my pants. Oh, God. Red Oak, do they look human at all? I mean, do they oh, have no, any, no, no. no human features at all? Well, eyes, legs. Eyes, legs. You, they you walk know, on tail tail. And dragon, and the... Uh, uh, They've got, uh, their skin is uh, basically scaly. Uh, they look like an upright walking lizard. And uh, um, Are they green or what? What's well, they, they've got a mottled green uh, um, khaki and okay. color combination. And uh, um, some are, you know, none of them are really tall. Maybe, maybe, maybe six, two at the very tallest, but generally our size, you know, five, five, seven, five, nine. Do they look like, you know, snake heads or what? Well, they got a lizard face. They do have a lizard face. Oh, okay. yeah, right. yeah. And, uh, but they're people, you know. It, uh, I, I look at, as I call you brother and sister, I call them brother and sister. Even as, the, as violent as they might be? Well, well, certainly they are very violent. Uh, but I'm not afraid of them, so that makes them afraid of me. Uh, you wouldn't introduce them to your friends, though, I take it, would you? I have. <laughs> <laughs> but I guarantee you they're with me when they're dead. Yeah, they don't want to leave your side. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so these lizard people would be extraterrestrials, I take it. Yes, yes. But uh, uh, they were... They were... Uh, uh, the first group of outer outer space beings, if you want, that came to Earth after man was first made. All right. And literally the first uh, soul-bearing people after Lucifer came here and set up his base in, in, in the center of our Earth. Lucifer and his angels 